Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video, I'll show you how you can perform web recon. Without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. So guys, all the things that I'm going to show you in this video are completely for educational purpose and I'm not responsible for any kind of illegal acts that you are going to perform. So now let's dive into the video. So guys, uh, let me discuss about web websites or anything. So websites are nothing but uh, the web applications which help us in performing some various tasks suppose if you take google it helps us in uh, searching something okay uh, searching thing over the internet okay if you take some like ircTC which helps us in booking railway tickets okay and there are many things like that if you take spicejet book my ticket okay all these things are web applications and each of them has a uh, what you call a different application or different logic to perform the tool suppose if you take a uh, book my show so which is a uh, indian cinema okay cinema ticket booking application okay where we can use this application to order to book a tickets for any cinema or any movie that you are interested in so each web application has an each use case okay and also sometimes the both applications like suppose there could be some competitors who had the same application but with a different logic or different implementation so guys uh, i'm gonna show you in this my kali linux but feel free to use this on any distro it works fine so let's see google.com guys so so if you look into the google.com so google is a web application okay so it is a search engine so which helps us in searching the stuff so, so this is but nothing but a url so the first and the foremost thing you need to do whenever you want to uh, do a recon or find out some information uh, for a few minutes or few hours simply work on that application suppose if you want to uh, pen test or if you want to find bugs in this google.com so simply uh, learn what this google is doing or if you are working on different sites simply learn what it is doing okay so it is all application doesn't do same guys each application there has their own use case okay so first few minutes or first few uh, it depends time guys for the first uh for the first part of time depend on how the web application is working okay so you'll understand what you are working on suppose if you are looking with bank suppose if you are looking at a bank application you can see the applications like deposit withdraw and stuff like that so that you can uh, try out some things like parameter tampering and stuff like that so you need to understand what that application is doing so don't simply try to attack so first learn what the particular application is doing okay so the next and the foremost thing is guys footprinting so footprinting is like finding the architecture suppose if you want let's take something like uh, uh, kali linux Okay, so this is a website, a sample website that I'm going to take. So this is a website, guys. We all know that Kali.org is the official website of the Kali Linux. So if you want to know the architecture, so architecture is like, so this is nothing but code, right? This is a program, uh, which is which might be written in PHP or which might be written in HTML or the logic or it could be different. So in order to find the architecture of any web application, there are some ways. So the first and the foremost way is what web so it is pre-built in kali okay so what web hyphen hyphen help then you can do it or you can install it by simply uh, apt install what web so let's see sorry so let's see what this kali.org is built of so it is also showing uh, some information like uh, it is showing some basic information it's showing like html5 uh, it is showing some country okay so it is also showing http version is also available but it is moved permanently to https kali.org okay so it haven't shown as much information but sometimes it shows and also one more thing is there is some application a uh, uh, what you call which is like an extension for browser called as vapalizer so you can find this for almost all the browsers i think so 
so you can simply install it this is the official website guys it is also available for uh, almost all the url or you can simply find out what the website are built of so let me copy this you can install this uh, extension to your browser or you can simply paste it and search here uh, so that it will show us some stuff okay so here guys you can see the technologies used are google font so the font used here is nothing but provided by the google google officials font and also there are some highlights like it's http2 and stuff like that you can click on that and you can look into the information regarding what it is uh, off and also you can see what are the websites that are also using so basically through the means of vapalizer or through the means of what web we try to find out the architecture like what is the programming language used okay what is something like <clears throat> what are the things that the particular application is using so so this is the basic guys and the next one is uh, this can be the first step as well it is nothing but who is lookup so who is lookup so who is lookup gives us the information like a metadata of the any website or any domain or anything like that okay so it tries to show it what is the, it consists of and stuff like that so we are working on kali.org so you can enter it here kali.org and simply hit search so you can't automate this tool guys because uh, it asks for a captcha uh, it asks for a captcha so you can't automate this thing but uh, if you could sign up you will get a token authorization token and with the through that you can automate the stuff if you want so here guys the, this tool or this application shows us uh, some basic information like who is the or what is the organization that registered for this so it is nothing but offensive security and also some basic information like uh, how many days it has been registered for it's like 6873 uh, days okay and the ip address and various stuff like that here you can see some uh, basic information like ip history and stuff like that and this is the record so you can see the domain name is kali.org so the domain id okay so who is server okay so register register url is gandhi.net okay you can do some various stuff and you can also see uh, phone numbers and stuff like that so through the help of this who is you can do this so guys that is how you can uh, see the who is a who is data related to any domain okay so i got i hope you got a little bit of clarity and there is also a extension called shodan uh, if you simply type for shodan for firefox i had already covered this in my uh, top extension firefox extensions for bug bounty hunting so let me add this to my firefox i only had worked this on firefox guys i don't know whether this works on uh, other chrome or anything like that or not okay so if i simply go over this okay so if i simply go to any url or any website and if i simply reload this after uh, installing this extension so this is the symbol guys you can you i think you are familiar with shodan if you simply click over that you can see some information like it's throwing the ip uh, it is related to google it is hosted on google okay on google cloud services origin and the city and also it is also showing the port details so since https is open you can con uh, conclude that port 443 is open so if you click on view host details it is going us to take to a new tab and it is also going to show the web technologies that is being used so this shodan.io uh, this extension this particular extension is a uh, complete guys like it is also showing the architecture of the website that is being used so it is also making use of youtube i think they had included some youtube video i think so so that's the reason it is showing like that so that is the basic thing guys so these are the basic things you need to look in look in for so whenever you are going to work on a website or any web application or any web server okay and also uh, you can also make use of something called like a burp suit so you can turn on the proxy if you don't know how to use burp suit do let me know in the comment section so that i can uh, create a new video series on that and uh, let me show how this works
you can make use of burp suit guys okay and as always you can work on that so what burp suit does is it simply captures the requests okay and it also captures the responses so that you can deeply analyze the stuff so the burp suit is also important you can do some various things on burp suit guys so i plan to cover burp suit in the upcoming videos as well or if you are too much of curious you can check out my course on udemy uh, which is available for free or else uh, just let me know in the comment section i can provide you the free tokens free coupons or anything like that so you can also make use of burp suit in order to capture the requests and responses that we are sending to the website or the web server so through the means of that you can see some various parameters you can do some various kinds of stuff like uh, cross site scripting and many things like that but before all those you can look into what the header is consisting of so header is like the metadata okay so it shows like some various information let me show something so here uh, let's take this is an example guys let's take this as an example header so this is a get request and this is the location okay so suppose if you take detect portal dot firefox dot com is a website so uh, success.txt is the file it is going for and you can also see the http it is using http version and the user agent so user agent is our browser okay so it is the mozilla which is on firefox and which is based on linux okay and it is also accepting the stuff you can see some various things like uh, if you take some other websites you can also find out some things like uh, uh, cookies and stuff like that and uh, yes if you're interested i'll make a short video series on this as well so these are the basic things you need to do guys in order to do some uh, in order to do a basic recon on any website okay so i hope you got it clear and if you're having any doubts regarding this or if you're having any doubts regarding uh, uh ethical hacking or any stuff like that you can comment below or if you want to uh, get a support uh, check out my discord server where you can get uh, support for free and also you can learn the stuff through the uh, with the various people out there and also really thank you guys for watching this video i hope you like this video if you like it make sure you like this and do share with your friends so that my content could reach more people so this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video